So the next big thing for text to image AI is Dolly 3. And if you go to their website, it's pretty impressive what it can do. It's not out yet officially on ChatGPT, but you're supposed to be able to try it out on Bing. So I, what I thought to do for this video is try and pit uh, and see how well it does against Ideogram. I'm gonna do Ideogram and versus Dolly 3 with five different prompts and see how well they do. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. It's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm going to pit Dolly 3, or what we think is Dolly 3 on Bing, against Ideogram or Ideogram. I've heard it both ways. So both of these are supposed to handle text really well, which Mid Journey can't do, Leonardo can't do. So we're going to see uh, if it can do this. I'm going to put the text in the prompts and see how well it does to design a specific kind of t-shirt. And we're gonna put them head to head and you can be the judge which one you think does better. I'm gonna give you my opinion and we'll see how it goes from there. So first, let's go to Dolly3, the Dolly3 website so you can see kind of what they're promising. And then I'm gonna go to Bing as well as Ideogram or Ideogram and then put in those prompts and we'll kind of match them up together. So let's go to Dolly3 first. Okay, so first Dolly 3, just to, so you can see what it's kind of promising, you can go to openai.com slash doll dash e dash 3 and look at this, pretty impressive. Uh, some of these examples here, I'm not going to read it all, but look at this illustration. This is very detailed, so pretty cool. Um, and then it shows you kind of from Dolly 2 to Dolly 3, just the improvements that it does. And then you can watch this video if you want, but look at these hedgehogs, they're amazing. And then look, there's text right there, so it can write text, as well as right here, it says Explore Venus and some other text there. So it's saying that it can. And when you click on these, you can see kind of the prompts. So, um, you know, vintage poster, and then it says, the bottom text read, Explore Venus, beauty behind the mist, and then, you know, it says right there. So. Hopefully you can understand the prompts that I'm gonna write. So I will use the same prompts for Dolly 3. Um, if you go to Google search, it says you can try it now with Bing. So I'm gonna go to Bing right now and open up that and we're gonna try that prompts. And then I'm also gonna open up Ideogram and do the same prompts. All right, so the first prompt on Ideogram here, I wrote vector art of a cute cat wearing a cowboy hat with the word meowdy below the cat on a white background. I think, yeah, white background, there we go. And I did, oh, and I did illustration and typography in ideogram or ideogram. And you can see these are the results. So let's look at them. I think, I think the art could still be better on here. The hat's kind of a weird thing. This one looks kind of weird too. I don't know what's going on with the hat. Um, but it wrote out the words. All of them wrote the words out nice. I think this one's probably the most stylistic. I would probably, as far as putting any of them on a t-shirt, probably this one right here. I love the colors. And this one, the cat looks really weird too. So, oh, and it didn't spell it right. Meowdy instead of Meowdy. But look, Meowdy, Meowdy, Meowdy. All right, so let's see how Dolly 3 did on Bing. And same, same one right here. And these are the results here. I wonder if I can click on them. Yeah, that one's not bad. That's kind of a, that's kind of a cool one, except for Meowdy, the, the word kind of got lost here. So let's try the other one. Um, well, the, the art's really cool. I like this right here. Uh, it looks like it added an extra O, and this is coming going outside of the lines. This one's really cute. That W needs some work, but you could slap a W in there, but yeah. Uh, and again, uh, it's having problems with this WD over here. It's probably because Meowdy is not a real word and it's trying to figure out, did we type that in right or something? I don't know. But the, the artwork on here, I think I would give it to Dolly 3, kind of this vector cartoon cat. I think the cat itself, like I would put that on a t-shirt, that, um, but the words, I mean, no, I think it's a wash. I think the ideogram words actually were better, except for that one. Um, but the artwork I would give it to Bing. So it's kind of a wash. I don't think either of the, any of these I would put on a t-shirt, but it's, 
it's really, really close. It's getting really, really good. Let's try another one. All right, so round two, here we are on ideogram again. I'm doing this prompt, vector art of a cute kawaii ghost, reading a book with a pile of books on the side and the words, read more books in the background. So I purposely um, wrote books longer, like boo, um, see how it does on a black background. Okay, so I generated it and let's take a look. So <laughs> Ideogram's putting some of this. I wonder if it's copying from something, some kind of poster. Um, this is really weird though, because the coast head is on the bottom, not the top. So I wouldn't do that as a t-shirt. This one's not bad. It has some books, kind of weird how it drew the books, but I can really um, read the text, read books very clearly, uh, good font. I think that's a good one. This one actually did the right thing. Read more books. So that's good. I don't know if I would put this on a t-shirt and again, it looks like it's maybe copying from a poster or something, some kind of name here. And the way that it drew the book on this last one is kind of weird. So don't know about that one. And this one's kind of scary like the arms and face and it just says books. It doesn't say read more books. So kind of hit and miss. I think the best one out of these probably is this one right here. Even though this one actually said the right words, this one kind of like the spacing and everything's good here. All right, so Dolly 3, let's see how it does. Oh wow, this is really good. I think all of these are a lot better and they all say the right words. Read more books, read more books, read more books read more books. And this one, the O is kind of weird, but um, this one's really good. I think uh, I think I would do this one. Uh, doesn't look like a ghost, kind of the hands. Like this one, this ghost with the book looks better, I think. Uh, maybe even this one. I like the composition. I can read the words and see if I click on it. Yeah, I can read it. I can see it. It's perfect on here. The books look great and they added the candle light with the, I think this is cool. So uh, I'm going to give this one to Dolly 3. Uh, I, I think you could just take this and, and put it on a t-shirt and then do really, really well. So points for Dolly 3 um, in this round. Let's see what it does in the next one. All right. So for the third one, I made it really, really hard or a lot harder than I did before. So I said vector art a pink video game controller and lots of pink little pink ribbons. Oh, link ribbons. I should have said a lot of lots of little pink ribbons. Maybe that's what threw it off with the words in October, we wear pink on a black background. So let's see how we did in October. We wear pink. Uh, so it has, well, no, it didn't really, I don't know what this PNK it did get in October. We wear pink on this one. Let's make it bigger but I don't know what this PNK is. And then some little ribbons, maybe um, in October we wear pink. No, it's kind of getting out. Well, it, it did get the words, so we got to give them points for that. In October we wear pink, yes, um, but not a t-shirt design. Maybe I should have told it to make it a t-shirt design and not a poster. So this kind of looks like a poster design. And this one says, oh, October, October wear pink. So that, that didn't get it. I think this is probably the best one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one's outside and that one looks weird. So I'm going to pick this one as the best one. Still the artwork, not as good, but the text, I think got points for that. So let's see Dolly three. Wow. Very detailed, uh, in awkward. Hoover. Nope. Didn't get the text. It did get my pink ribbons though, even though I said link ribbons, but it did pink ribbons. In October, we work, you know, nice controller though. Nice artwork, uh, pretty cool controller here. In October, we wear pink. I guess that's right. I don't know why it did the O's like that. Um, in October, nope, didn't do it. Nice artwork too though. So the best one I think would be this one. And if I compare this one to, what did he say? This one? Wow. I don't know, as far as a t-shirt, I still think this one, not the best though. Um, I'm gonna give it to Dolly 3 again, but I, I still wouldn't put this on a t-shirt. I would still have to rewrite this. Um, you can see October, I don't know what that is right there. So this one actually, has the right text in it, although the, the artwork's not right. So maybe a wash, maybe a slight 
slightly better on Dolly 3, but neither of them actually did something that I would put on a t-shirt. Okay, round four, here we go. Uh, this is the prompt, took it easy this time. Uh, vector art, a pumpkin with sunglasses, so super easy graphic, with the words coolest pumpkin in the patch. You might've seen one of these on t-shirts on Amazon, and I put on a black background just so we have a dark background. And these are the ones that Ideogram did, Ideogram, so let's check it out. Uh, coolest pumpkin, uh, I think you forgot the word in the patch, but uh, cool design, I like the classes. Coolest pumpkin in the patch, it got it, except for this H right here, but, and I don't know what this is right here, cat looks like, but uh, cool pumpkin. Let's see, coolest pumpkin in the patch, it got it. I wish the glasses, like if the sunglasses were right in the middle here, I think this would be really cool. And coolest, coolest the pumpkin in patch. So it didn't get all the words there. And this one kind of is a weird. So which one's the best here? I love the words on this one. Not exactly the thing. Uh, coolest pumpkin in the patch. I think it got the words here. And coolest pumpkin patch. And I love the, I love the layout of that one. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so this is probably the coolest design. Let's see what Dolly 3 does. Wow, some really cool artwork. This is neat. I don't know what 42K and 49, and it says coolest pump can, didn't really get the right word there, the yeah, patch, no. But the artwork is amazing. I love this artwork. I would, if I were to use this, I would just cut out this pumpkin and then put my own text on it. Colt pumpkin in the patch. Oh, just missed out coolest. Although this this is a cool design too. I would love to use this pumpkin on a t-shirt. Love the artwork. Colt, it ha it's having a hard time with coolest um, pumpkin in the patch. And yeah, some of the words here. Again, cool artwork. Uh, cool pumpkin. I'm gonna give this one to ideogram for just getting the words right. I don't think uh, Dolly got all any of these words right. Pumpkin, pumpkin, yeah. But the artwork, the artwork itself is amazing here. So um, getting better. So this one I'm gonna give to ideogram just cause it actually got the words right. Pumpkin in the patch. This may not sell and maybe I'd do a, you know, maybe take the text from this one and the graphic from this one and could make a really cool design. But if these got the words right, I think Dolly 3 would have been really cool like that. Or this one, <laughs> it's really cool with the face. Anyway, point for ideogram. Okay, last one, round five, here we go. Um, vector art, 90s style, 90s color and shapes with the words totally red on a black background. I wanted to see what these two would do without any graphics, like not putting a picture of a cat or a pumpkin or, or whatever, and just kind of just, you know, a style, just colors and style. So here we go. Um, totally rad, toy, toy, totally rad. So not exactly right. Um, totally rad two t's and hard to read that a and it looks like it's copying from some kind of site or something i don't know what's going on here um totally rad nope totally rad tot i got two t's and hard to read so none of these and again this looks like it's maybe copying from some kind of stock site as well um, none of these I would use on a t-shirt. So let's see what Dolly 3 does. Um, totally rad. Did that spell it right? You know what? No, I did. Yeah, it's adding a T. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's totally rad. So not, but a cool, cool design has some nineties colors and shapes. So let's see what else we got. Totally rad. Good. That one works. This could be put on a t-shirt. So I think Bing's just because it spelled it right is, is winning this round. Totally rad. Again, this one I think would be really cool on a t-shirt. And totally rad, hard to see this one. So I wouldn't put this on a t-shirt, but it's kind of taking some ideas of what is 90s and putting it in here. So um, as far as good enough for a t-shirt, I mean, I wouldn't say it's good enough for a t-shirt. There's still some wrong things there. 
maybe this one, but it wouldn't sell. I mean, if you put these, the thing about AI is it can get some things right, but if you're actually just taking this, putting it on a t-shirt and trying to compare and uh, compare to the things that's already out there um, on t-shirts already, you know, it, it wouldn't be as good as that. So again, Bing, I think, or Dali 3 wins this round against Ideogram, but it, as far as winning against, uh, creating a winning t-shirt by itself, just with these prompts, I don't think it does it. So um, there you go. I think Dolly 3 actually wins just by here. And in fact, the only one that I think would do well on a t-shirt was back here, um, this one. I think this one could actually compete uh, with any t-shirt out there with the same words, read more books um, on a t-shirt, this right here, as is, just removing the black background, maybe upscaling it, not doing anything to it. I think this would actually compete as, but as far as anything else in here um, by itself alone, I don't think it did. And ideogram as well, I don't think it had one that I, I liked by itself um, as far as gonna win so I think we had these October read books yeah none of these really by itself did or this Meowdy I think this was probably the closest one I think this one might get a chance uh, at least in my opinion the, the hat's kind of a weird thing right here it didn't get the cowboy hat like that area but um, stylistically it's it's kind of cool so let me know what you think one of the things to note though that I didn't see and I didn't show you is that um, Dolly 3 took a lot longer to process. Like I waited a good two to five minutes for each of these to, to process for, for this prompt. Whereas uh, Ideogram, I got, the, I got the designs back in seconds. And I'm not really sure if this is commercial free. So according to here, um, Dolly 3 use of creations um, saying, you may use creations outside subject to our compliance with this agreement and our content policy, you may use creations outside of our line, online service for any legal, personal, non-commercial purpose, which means you can use it for yourself, but probably not for commercial purposes. I'm going to guess that when it comes out, they'll probably have a paid plan and, and do it and all of that. So um, right now it's fun to play with, but uh, I don't think you can actually use it, but it's good to see this, um, that it's learning and getting better, like, um, it, it actually does the right words. Like this one says, you can read it just like ideogram. And with all AI right now, at least, uh, the big takeaway is it's hit and miss. Like there's not a, a AI out there that you can always get the right output with the right prompt. Every time it's all hit and miss. You can see sometimes the words are great. Sometimes it can't spell the words. Sometimes the graphics are great. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes the cowboy hat is a little wonky. So that's it with, with all AI right now. Um, even if it does text, even if it does graphics, it's really hit and miss right now. So it's, it's still in the learning stages and it's just gonna get better and better and better. So hopefully this video was really helpful for you that you can see both sides like uh, Ideogram and Dolly 3 are getting better and better and can do text now. And it's only a matter of time before Mid Journey and Leonardo and some of the other ones I, I believe will start doing text to, to make it better and better for uh, designing for print on demand, for t-shirts and other stuff. So if you wanna see more AI stuff, I have this playlist of AI stuff, including Leonardo, Ideogram, Mid Journey, and so many others. You're gonna to wanna to watch all of those. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.